this video I want to talk about true love and the fact that true love is willing to let go. Now many people have two views of true love. Firstly, that true love never lets go. Or the other view is that true love is willing to let go. My view is that true love is willing to let go. Let me give you an example. Let's say a man falls head over heels in love with a woman. He doesn't know that she loves him or not, and he pursues her. And the woman seems to be giving off some vibes that she feels sort of similar or the same way to him. So he steps up the ante, they go to some sort of camp somewhere, and he sees her through a crowd. So he pushes through the crowd to get to her, and he says something like, I would push through a thousand crowds to get to you. Now, all of a sudden, this is quite intense. If the woman doesn't match his feelings, she will feel very uncomfortable by this. She will feel very suffocated and closed out. So a man might say to her, look, I, I feel I've found true love here, but if you don't feel the same way, that's fine. I'll disappear and I'll go away. I don't really want to go away. I don't really want to disappear, but I will because if a man really loves a woman, he will not want her to be suffocated. He will not want her to have him when she doesn't want him. He will not want her to be feel intensed by him. So this is very important because somebody, a man who truly loves a woman, his desire will be for her, her feelings of love, love to match his. And if they don't, he should not want that relationship. Because true lovers want others who truly love them. And if a man truly loves a woman, he will want a woman who matches that intensity of love, of that true love. We're brought to the film Titanic by James Cameron, where Rose, the main person in the movie, falls in love with Leonardo DiCaprio's character Jack. And she, he is the love of her life, and they both match that intensity of love. It's true love from both sides and to the same intensity throughout the film. So when Jack dies and falls to the bottom of the ocean, her heart falls to the bottom of the ocean with him. And you see Rose goes on to get married. Now the husband of Rose, from then on, could think that his wife is perfectly in love with him and very happily married with him, not realising that she never loved him all the way through. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure Rose had respect for her then husband and uh, liked him, but it wasn't true love because the feelings of intensity were not there, were not, wouldn't match because her heart, as we learnt at the, at the end of the movie, when she throws the heart of the ocean into the ocean, is symbolic of her heart being with Jack in the bottom of the ocean. So, of course, she never loved any, any husband after that, after Jack, may have respected him, may have, uh, you know, had children with him, but love. And people might ask the question, is it possible to love two people in a lifetime? My answer to that question is no, not, not true love. It isn't, it isn't possible to love a person, two people, in, in a sense of true love your whole life. It is possible to love another person, but it will not be what I call true love, number one love. It will not be that. Because your heart, you've given your heart to that person. You have given that your heart to that individual. Whether they've left you, whether they've died, whatever has happened, your heart was this with that individual. You, they were the best for you. They were the ones you truly loved. So true love is very, very hard thing. Some people go through the whole life and never find true love. And to tell you what, that is absolutely fine. It is absolutely fine to go through your whole life and never find true love. I'll tell you why. Because true love is a very magical thing. It's very, very hard to find. You could be the best man on the planet, the best man with women, the best flat man socially, and never have true love from a woman. Never. You can be a man who beds a thousand women and never have any of those women actually love you in the truest sense of the word of true love. So true love is a very special thing and it is a very rare thing. It rarely happens to, to anybody in life. I'm not trying to be pessimistic or put down your opportunity. We all want true love, but it's perfectly fine if you live your life and never have find true love. It's perfectly fine. 
What I would say, from my point of view, is it's not fine to get into a relationship with a woman if it's not true love. Therefore, the default of most men should be to remain single. But many men get involved in marriage for all kinds of reasons other than love, other than true love. A man can think he's in true love, but not be in love at all. So you see, true love is a very, very important thing to have. It's the, it's the foundation of any uh, man-woman relationship, true love. But the thing is, because true love is very, very rare, people should only get together with some of the opposite sex and get married or whatever, if it's true love. Because if it's not true love, don't bother with it. Don't bother with it, because it may, it may well not work out. Now, because true love is very rare, I'm not saying people watching this who are in marriages and that don't have true love. I'm sure many of you do. But it's still a very, very rare thing. True love between a man and a woman is very, very rare. And just because somebody is married and they appear in love and everything, it may not be true love. A woman's heart is a very, very complex thing. A woman can paint a picture of loving her man, of giving him sex, of giving him children, uh, giving him everything, saying that she loves him and not love him. It, it's possible. Men, men are a bit more, uh, I wouldn't say honest, but they're a bit more easier to work out. It's easier to work out for a woman whether a man is, is tr a true lover of her than it is for a man to work out whether she's a true lover of him. Women are very, very good at pretending or feigning true love. Very, very good. Now, I don't mean by that that uh, women necessarily deliberately do this. Women might, might think that they're in love with a man and not be in love with them. So when a woman sort of thinks she's in true love with a man, she may well be deceiving herself. She may well not truly love him. So but if a woman truly, truly, truly loves her man, and a man truly, truly, truly loves the woman, that is, that is a relationship, that is a marriage, that is the proper relationship. If a person doesn't have that, they shouldn't be in a relationship, in my opinion. People do what they want, of course, it's just my opinion, but that's my, my views that that, that that shouldn't be a relationship, if that's the case. So true love is willing to let go. True love wants the best for the person, regardless of whether the other person is with them or not. For example, if I meet a woman, and I fall head over heels in love with her. I want to give her my heart. Uh, she's my true lover, and I truly love her. But she doesn't want me. If I get into the place of one-itis, and crying and weeping, and no, don't get me wrong, my heart will be broken. Yeah, because I don't want to be rejected by her. But if she rejects me, my fundamental, foundational thing is for her to be okay, whether she chooses me or not. Is for her to feel that I... I'm allowing her to have whatever life she wants because I love her. That is, that is the essence. That is the essence of it. That is the essence of true love. True love is willing to let go. I do not agree with this belief that if you let a woman go, you didn't love her. I think that's a load of baloney, quite frankly, and I do not believe it's true. Anyway, that is my sixth sense on what true love is and that true love is willing to let go. Thank you for watching.